Hi guys, welcome to my 6 out of 100 helpful and useful sales videos. If you watch this video to the end, then surely you will benefit from this video. So let's start the game quickly. This game starts with the king's pawn opening. Black plays pawn d5. This opening name is Scandinavian defense. Black is offering an exchange of the center pawn. White does not care and he plays knight f3 with free e4 pawn offer. Guys, this opening name is Reti opening Tennyson Gambit. However, this time your knight is attacked by this black pawn. Then your best move is knight g5. But today I will discuss knight e5. Now if your opponent tries to move this knight from the e5 square, then he can try in 4 ways. Knight c6, knight d6 or queen d4 and pawn f6. Friends, now we will see all the strap one by one. So pay attention to the board, okay? Knight c6 is not good because it's created a double pawn structure. But knight d7 is good. You can then exchange your knight if you wish and continue playing, okay? Return to this position. If he plays the queen d4 and attack our knight, we defense with pawn f4. This is why black take our pawn. This playing name is in percent move. Now we will take this pawn by e5 knight. And next we will try to castle on the king side. And try to attack black weak f7 square with more pieces. So go back in this position. If black plays the knight d7 without attacking your pawn. Now we will attack the black queen with the pawn d3. This time black best move is queen d6. Because it is double attacking your knight. Then you try to defend with the pawn d4. I hope black can take your pawn. If he does it. This time you will be taken back by your knight. And continue this game with your mindset. Going back if he does not take your pawn, he takes your knight. You are taken back by your f4 pawn. And continue playing this game. Going back if he does not take your knight and attack this knight with his f7 pawn. Now first we give a check with our queen. King cannot go to the side. Because black checkmate in the next few moves. Going back, so black has only one move, it's pawn g7. This time the black rook will be gone. So go back to this position. If black trying to pawn f6 in this position, don't worry, we will play the same way. And again black lost his rook. Okay guys, again we return to the previous position. If black plays the knight c6, then we play the pawn c3, attacking the black queen. Queen d6 because it is double attacking your knight. Your best move this time is the queen e4. It purpose is to pin black knight and threatening to capture the e4 pawn. If black tries to unpin his knight by bishop d7, now we will take the bishop by our knight. Queen takes and we can simply take this e4 pawn. Go back in this position. If black attack your knight, we simply take his knight. Black queen cannot take your knight. Because white fellas bishop b5 and black queen is trapped. Going back, if he take by pawn, this time we take the e4 center pawn. Guys, return to this position again. Actually in this position, black best move is bishop d7. Friends, pay attention to the board and see how to play from here. And finally this position is good for white. Guys, please wait for a one minute and see some interesting trick. Here also if he plays the pawn f7, then you will play the same way as you have seen before. Now we will see if he ignore our knight and develop his knight. So how do we play? Don't worry, I show you how to play. This time we will play the pawn d3 or d4. Black takes and we recapture by your bishop. Now if black plays pawn g6 or a6, then we can take black queen like this. Guys, very very thanks for watching my video. But please subscribe to me because my channel is very small. And definitely like this video. See you in my next video. Tata -ta and bye bye.